guys, welcome to today's video. I'm really excited. Today we're gonna to be doing a massive Gymshark haul with a try on and review. I have loved the activewear that Gymshark has put out for a really long time, but this is my first time buying from them. So I thought that I would jump on here and share with you guys a little bit about everything I got, as well as their size guide and a little bit about my experience with purchasing from them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. I am not sponsored or affiliated by Gymshark in any way. I purchased everything with my own money. I simply wanted to share with you guys and give y'all an honest in-depth review on the pieces that I purchased. I do, however, have a discount code with Lakai Active and Vital Proteins. I will be sure to leave those in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing through either of those sites. I don't personally make any sort of commission or money off you using my codes, but it does save you cash, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. So everything I picked up today is in a size large that is typically my size across the board. Sometimes I can size down to a medium, but I played it safe and ordered a large in everything. Their sizing chart was a little bit frustrating for me. There were a few inconsistencies as far as their size guide and what it recommends to purchase versus my measurements. So I went with the safest option and just ordered a large in everything. Now one issue that I ran into that I have heard time and time again is that they are constantly sold out in a lot of different pieces and sizes on their website, which did end up impacting my purchase. <laughs> Thankfully they had enough of the things that I wanted in my size that I was able to get just about everything. One thing that I absolutely love about their activewear is that you can pair together most of the tops and bottoms and they'll work together as a set even if they weren't meant to be one. And it makes me feel a lot better about how much money I spent on all of this because it was not cheap. <laughs> Since it was my first order from Gymshark, I had to pick up the Camo Seamless Collection. When I first saw the Camo Seamless Collection release, whenever that was, I immediately fell in love. I am not usually a big fan of patterns, especially on leggings. I think that they can be really tacky sometimes, but I couldn't make a big purchase from Gymshark and not get anything from the Camo Seamless Collection, so... I would have liked to get the full black set. They didn't have it available. So my next option was the sage green and they didn't have the sage green sports bra in my size. Like I said, they were out of stock and a lot on their website. So I wasn't able to get a full set in one color. I ended up getting the sports bra in black and then the long sleeve crop top and the leggings and the sage green. I can honestly say that this is one of my favorite gym outfits ever. But since it does have that little pattern, it hides every single lump and bump. You can't see any cellulite. It does slightly accentuate my hip dips, but those are just there and they will always be there. So that's not the end of the world. They also hide sweat really well. I'm not usually one to be embarrassed by sweat at the gym. I'm there to sweat. I'm there to work out. So, you know, when you can see the sweat in my activewear, it usually doesn't bother me. The print does such a good job of hiding any sort of sweat marks. You won't be able to see it in these, which I do really enjoy. Like I said, it doesn't really bother me, but it's nice to know that I'll be covered in that aspect. With the camo collection, let's first talk about the sports bra. I did pick it up in the black color. This has quickly become my number one sports bra of all time. It is so cute and so flattering. It has the nice V cut in the front and then the back has that really cute crisscross pattern where it kind of intermingles on the bottom. This is a medium support sports bra and I would say that that's fairly accurate. If you are like a teacup and above, it might be medium to light. As far as the logoing goes, I know Gymshark is notorious for having really, really big logos. It's got that cute little shark emblem here on the shoulder and then it's got the Gymshark written across the back and that is sewn into the fabric and it does blend in really well. Also, the sports bra is very booby. It is low cut. It does lift your girls nice and high. If you're not comfortable with cleavage, you're definitely going to want to wear something over this. I wouldn't wear it as a top alone. Overall, this is probably one of the best sports bras that I've ever worn and I will continuously wear this and I will definitely be picking it up in other colors. The next part of the Camel Seamless Collection are going to be the long sleeve crop top and the high waisted leggings. These are some of the best leggings I've ever put on. They sit perfectly at my waist. The print is so cute. Like I said, it hides sweat so well. The waistband on these is nice and thick. It's a ribbed material, so it's double lined and super compressing. You're gonna have a nice amount of tummy control. And the best part about these leggings is this booty scrunch back here. The booty scrunch really just shapes your bum and it gives you this really nice perky look to it. So if that's something that you're looking for, definitely take a look at these ones. I saw sometimes run into the issue with booty scrunches that they just stretch that material out and you really can't see the ruffle like you're supposed to. They have the perfect amount of fabric where they cover my bottom and still give me that nice little scrunch in the middle. So I personally love these leggings. As far as the logos go, these ones say Gymshark embroidered on the hip. And they also have the little shark on the back of the calf, which is so stinking cute. The entire material is nice and breathable. These are some of the best leggings I've ever worn. I love these and will definitely be picking them up in black. You can't go wrong with these. They're incredible. They make your butt look fantastic and they're so so comfortable. 
And then to complete the outfit, we have the long sleeve crop top in the sage green color as well. Now this is a fantastic long sleeve crop, but it's not one of those that I'm gonna go back and buy in every single color. It is really cute though, and it's nice and functional. On the front, you have that cute little scrunch in between the girls, just to give you a little bit of shape. I don't personally feel like the scrunch does all that much, except for aesthetically. Like it just looks cute, but it doesn't really do anything for you. And these little cutouts, they're super cute, but I just don't feel like they're absolutely necessary. I could have done without them. Like they're cute, don't get me wrong. They do allow some air to get in and make the shirt a little bit more breathable, but if I'm getting too hot in my workout top, I'm just gonna take it off. Now the length of the arm is just a little bit too long for me. It does have extra fabric in the wrist, which I don't mind, but it is just a little bit baggy on me. However, the thumb hole is nice. I love a good thumb hole on a long sleeve. Overall, the long sleeve is really, really cute, but like I said, I'm not gonna be running out to purchase this in other colors whenever it comes back into stock. I think I'll be okay with just this safe green one. I do really, really like it, but it's not a must have for me. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the camo in general, but I ended up loving the way it looked. I feel like a little Power Ranger running around in my all green outfit. It's so cute and fun and it's just different than anything I would normally wear. So I'm really, really glad that I took a chance on this one and just went with it. And okay, up next we have the Flex Collection. I have heard so many things about the Flex Collection, both good and not so good. This is one of those that I wasn't sure if I was going to be sending back or if I was going to keep and I'm so so glad I just took a chance on it. When I first put this outfit on, I was not a fan. It was so tight and it wasn't even like a good, like, oh, this is a compressing outfit. It was like, this kind of hurts. Like, I think this is the wrong size. After washing it once, it ended up fitting perfectly. I guess it just needed to be loosened up a little bit. At first, it hurt. Getting these over my butt? I almost gave up. Okay, they're tight. This waistband is so tight. It's nice and thick. It's got perfect compression to it. It just cinches in your waist and gives you this super flattering look. It's got this subtle contouring on it that just kind of goes throughout and that contouring is just like this meshy material which is so breathable. I don't find that I get super hot in this outfit. The mesh paneling kind of circles around the bum and it goes all the way down the leg to the ankle. It's so flattering. I ended up loving these leggings. These do have that big Gymshark logo on the waistband. It also has that little iron-on logo on the side here. One of my favorite things about these leggings is that they do not have a front seam, but they have a back seam. You're gonna go right between the crack and just make your bum look fantastic. When I first took these leggings out of the package, I would have told you to save your money, buy something else, skip these, but now that I've worn them and washed them, these ones are a must have. I would buy these leggings again any day. To go with the leggings, we got the Flex Long Sleeve Crop Top in black as well. The entire Flex collection is meant to be a slim fit, and that's true. I mean, they're tight. It is all black with the tiny charcoal branding on the front and then again on the back of the band on the bottom. It's got the charcoal lettering on it. It's got the nice shaded contour throughout and then it's got nice long sleeves. These ones aren't as long on me. The back is also super cute. You again have that little contoured shading throughout and then a nice big cutout. It's a nice length and then it also has the thumb hole. If you're anything like me and you sweat like a crazy person, this is the top for you. The shaded contour is this like mesh paneling, which makes the shirt so breathable. It's gonna go under the armpit and all the way down the arm, as well as across the top of the back where you sweat the most. The band on the bottom is once again, nice and thick. Overall, the flex set ended up working out so good for me. I really, really love it. I, I wanted to pick up a pair of shorts and I was really unsure of which ones to get. And I kind of wish I would have gotten a different pair. I kind of wish I would have gotten the energy seamless shorts instead of the vital seamless. Overall, the biggest issue with these for me was the length. These just ended up being weird on me. This one might have just been a fluke. I don't know. I'll have to order shorts in another collection to see how those work out for me. But overall, the vital seamless. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to wear them, but I probably won't work out in them. Because they are such an awkward length on me, I tried to wear them running a few days ago and uh, about two minutes in, they turned into underwear. <laughs> they were so far up my butt cheeks that I probably shouldn't have been in public in them. I ended up having to go home and change, which totally just ruined my workout. <sighs> I just had a bad first experience with these, okay? To be totally honest. Now, 
If I'm not working out, I love the way they fit. They're comfortable. These are something that I will wear around the house or to run errands in. The waistband, again, nice and tight. However, the actual material doesn't really do much for me. Overall, they're really cute. They have some subtle contouring throughout this little material here. They've got the cute little shark. No front seam, yes back seam. They don't really do anything fantastic for your butt. Can't really say I recommend them. If you're going to buy a comfortable lounging short, you can buy pretty much these exact same things at Target for like $12 for 40 bucks. I would say save your money and buy something else. But since I already have them, I'm going to keep them and wear them. I just know in the future that I will not be buying the Vital Seamless Shorts again. Okay, the last few pieces that I got were from the same collection. The day I purchased was the day that the Adapt line launched and that is what we have next. I have the Adapt Marl long sleeve crop top and sports bra in the black color and then I got the Adapt Animal Seamless leggings in black as well. The Adapt Animal leggings are basically the camo seamless, just redone. However, I feel like the Animal Seamless are just a little bit more compressing overall. The waistband is the exact same idea Idea. They also have the booty scrunch in the back. The length again is perfect. I don't have any extra fabric at the ankle and then they also have that cute little shark on the back of the calf which I think is just the cutest little piece of branding ever. Now the biggest difference I'll say that I've noticed between the camo seamless and the animal seamless is the booty scrunch. The camo seamless does have a good amount of extra room that you can still see the scrunch. These ones not so much but it's not the end of the world. The one question I have about these is um, they're called animal. I don't really know what animal print this is but uh i mean it's cute these are the perfect legging where if you wear nothing but all black leggings and you kind of want to step out but you don't really know where to start start here it's so subtle where if you see it from far away you're kind of like oh she's wearing black leggings okay and then you get close and you're like oh those are solid black I love it. They're super cute and a super fun way to step away from black if that's usually all you wear. I love these and I would totally purchase these again in the other colors because that blue color, I'm gonna go back for that because I love these. If you see a random tail, I have two cats. They're very nosy, don't mind them. I'm sure they'll make an appearance at some point, but today they're being shy. Jet just wants to be around me, but not quite involved in the video. From the Adapt Marl collection, I did get the sports bra. This one is also double layered. You have this inside panel that has the removable cut pads and then this outside piece that just kind of covers everything up. It claims to be a light support. I'd say that's about accurate. You could probably even consider it a medium depending on what you're doing. When I took this bra out of the package and I saw these little tiny straps, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna hate this. But they're actually so comfortable. This little back detailing is so stinking cute. It just kind of dresses up the sports bra since it is so simple. I have been living in this sports bra for the past few weeks. It is so comfortable just to kind of lounge in. It's also obviously really good for working out in. That's what it's meant for. Overall, if you're looking for just a nice, comfortable sports bra to wear, not just to work out in, but for everyday life, this is the perfect, perfect one for that. And the last piece of actor we have is the Adapt Marl Seamless Long Sleeve Crop Top in black as well. It does have a nice mesh pant Panel here on the top of the back as well as underneath the armpit. This top does not have thumb holes but it does have a nice cuffed wrist. It does have extra fabric on me. Again I just have short arms. It's something I have to expect but since it has that cuff it sits perfectly at my wrist and it bunches really nicely. On this top specifically the only branding is this little Gymshark press-on logo here on the chest. It's a very simple top but this little ruched detailing just gives it a little bit of something without being dramatic. Overall this is probably my second favorite behind the flex but I definitely say this one's worth your money if you're looking for just a simple long sleeve crop top that doesn't have too much detail. So that is all of the activewear. I did get one lounge piece. I picked up the Cozy Zip hoodie in black. It is this fuzzy, soft Sherpa feel material. I am obsessed with it. It is the perfect cozy jacket to just throw on around the house and walk around in. One of my favorite things about this are the sleeves. I don't like when I have this super soft material and it has a cuffed sleeve. I feel like they're just too much. My arms get really hot. This one is nice and loose. It is a cropped jacket. It does also have these drawstrings on the bottom so you can cinch it at your waist to keep it nice and cropped. Or if you want that more loose feel, you don't have to tie that. It also has these really cute breast pockets. They're like sideways. The hood on this jacket is humongous. If you're looking for a cozy but cropped and stylish jacket, please, 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 please consider this one. It is worth every single penny. I would 1000% recommend this jacket. If you need a good cozy fuzzy jacket, this one is the best. 
Okay, you guys, that is all we have for today. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from today's haul was, or just let me know what your favorite item from Gymshark is. Give me some recommendations for my future purchases with them. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a future video. And until then, I'll see you next time.